<laughs> Goodies, bikes. There's another bike in there, believe it or not. Gear bags, shades, a bed. Do you want to go for a drive? Do you want to go for a drive? <laughs> Little do you know, mate. Yeah, we're not going for just a drive. We're going for a big road trip. How long is the drive? Uh, with or without Jagger stops. <laughs> nah, it'll probably take us like 22 hours of driving, not including stops. Obviously, it'll take us like two days. We're heading to South Australia right now, so actually haven't really started the trip, but we have actually, how's this? So this morning left at like 6 a.m., 22 hours of driving, and as soon as we get in the car, Corey's like, I don't think my car is registered. It's currently 10 a.m., we're still in the Gold Coast, but it's all right, because I feel like I've gotten so much work done. But anyways, we're doing Girls Can Ride there. It is just so cool that we can like take this over there to think how much Girls Can Ride has grown in just two years time. And the level of growth that these girls experience is just, absolute game changer like we um launched tickets to girls can ride queensland last night someone from america is coming someone from salt lake city bought a ticket at midnight last night and she messaged me this morning she's like i'm so excited and i'm like this is like legit insane <laughs> i have literally created girls can ride based on something that i needed when I was like lacking so much confidence and lacking so much self-doubt. Girls seeing moto as a lifestyle choice as well is really cool. Like not seeing that you have to race and seeing that like, hey, this is like what I do on my weekend. This is my hobby. And yeah, it's so bloody cool to kind of empower that as well and not have it as like a competitive thing and have it more as a self-growth and self-development tool. I'm seeing girls become more independent and embrace who they are without feeling intimidated. Some of the girls' growth after these events and, you know, being a part of this community is just, yeah. Like, I wish this was around when I was starting to ride. So we're on the road to South Australia. I think South Australia was the most requested state in the whole of Australia. So excited to be around girls who are obsessed with bikes just as much as I am. Also, I'm in Dirt Action this month and it's all about girls can ride and yeah, social media and all about my life. It's so bloody cool. Cool. I don't want to talk how you try and press the kid and read it you was soft oh you know what's capping homie you don't know the law pedal to the metal you ain't catch it we're in Wagga we ended up staying here last night we got really tired we were trying to drive the whole way but I couldn't do it so we ended up finding a motel we got here at 4 a.m. or something like that so three hours sleep and back on the road we snuck Jagger in like you know what Jag is not a dog. We had to like smuggle him in in like a blanket and look like I was holding a baby. Nobody close to me, hopefully this ain't wasted and I know it ain't. You gotta take the time for seasoning to marinate. You need the patience and the pressure just to death. Yeah, the heat wave. The second most important one. We can't not put this one on. It's off. That's perfect. That's just perfect. Girls can ride South Australia. 2,224.1 kilometers and we made it to South Australia. We're one minute away. Is there a pool at the house we're staying at? A pool? You wouldn't even go swimming anyway. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. It's kind of cold. So it is Friday now. I'm gonna head out to the track. I can't wait to unpack everything. Ben, our coach, is gonna be flying in at like 9 30 tonight so we've got to go pick him up so the throttle girls long sleeve top two one of the girls today 
we gotta go send that as well. We travel on the road and whenever we get orders, we have to send them from wherever we are. So I have to bring like all the post stuff on the road with us. And I was just telling YouTube. When someone makes a throttle girl's order, we have to send them on the road. Well, we got the three big pink tubs. And so we don't double sell because no doubt those teas will sell out tomorrow, eh? All right, post office. Oh, stop! I think it's seen. Yeah, I feel like we should go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, like, so this place where are we, Taylor and Ben? So apparently, this place is like where all the car racing people come and road bike racing people. But it literally so looks like it looks like we see. Look, dirt road. It looks like we're in. Joshua Tree. Because in Joshua Tree, everything's like dirt road in America. Like, everything's so old school. They don't get Bunnings and supplies around here. They just gotta, you know, live off the land. Oh, yeah, that person has nice green grass. Do you reckon it's fake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh yeah. I think it actually is. You can't have dogs when you have AstroTurf because if they wee on it, your grass stinks. It's so gross. Jagger doesn't even wee on it anyway. Yeah, Jagger like would. What's that? Jagger would weigh on the f carpet. That was the center of town. Surely they got a post box. Everyone here looks like they're in the 80s. <laughs> I feel like they're either behind with times or ahead of times. But who's that going to? Crystal. Crystal in from Lang Lang. Oh, hey, Lang Lang, Victoria. Lang Lang. Shout out to Crystal. Whenever I buy something online, I want it like straight away. And like I'll always opt for the cheaper postage option. So I always do standard. I still expect people to send it as soon as the order has come through. So I put that expectation on Throttle Girls and make that happen. I thought Dad's post office in Woodford was old. That joint is like, that's been here since like the dinosaurs. It's so funny. It even smells like it too. It's cool though. It's like a real vin like it's like a vintage town, eh? Australia. It's like we're going back. That's why Mum likes this place, cause it's in her era. And she's like, oh, have fun. I love SA. That is my favorite place ever, and now I know why, because it's in her era, the 80s. What a time. What a time. Long hair. Don't care. They didn't have 520 hair down here in the 80s, obviously. Yeah. Shout out to Shelby. We need you here. Actually, no, you would go out of business here, Shelby, if you moved here for work because they don't need you. They don't need haircuts here. They're all natural. Where are we going? Um, the track. <laughs> I'm just talking. Okay, okay, track. okay, okay. Arrival 1151. Do you recognize the sign? It's a sign for a good time. Just stick a slap in the shit out of SA. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Sick pit bike track. Wait. <laughs> There's like a mushroom farm over there and it stinks so bad. What's your rating on how bad it stinks? It's actually pretty bad. It's like 10 out of 10 bad. But homie, you don't know the law Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park uh, I just hit the stop, uh, I don't wanna speak Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep Watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease You gon' see the peace, you gon' see the flex when you hear these ratings Trust me, you know the difference This is sick Wait, look at Jagger <laughs> This jump looks big, like it's really intimidating. I feel like most of us girls, we talk ourselves out of sh like this. But I feel like once you, you know like start hitting it and hitting it and hitting yeah. it and like go faster, you start to be like, oh yeah, it's actually not that bad. Just one light, it all, is, all it takes to just send it and then clear it and then you're good for the rest of the yeah. you know, Keep unloading and you got a goodie bag to put together. How's that white here yeah, for <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> So we've got heat wave visual in here. In here, there's like $50 vouchers for every single girl. It's so generous. So massive thank you to heat wave. Dry times and fists. So there's a heap of towels and socks in here. YCF goodies, iPhone goodies. 
Tide Loop, some stickers from KNC, drink bottles from LSKD, I've got some goggles from Fox for every girl, before you speak coffee, Happy Way protein, can't even say the muscle chef snacks. Long ways to climb before you see a slippage. I see the process and the journey I'm supposed to be, but perplexed, cause I don't really see nobody close to me. Hopefully this ain't wasted and I know it ain't. So we just got told that Ben's flight is canceled. I guess we just wait and see what. Oh my gosh. Otherwise if they left now, they might make serious their job. <laughs> First one here. <laughs> Me again. Back. What's going on? More girls rocking up. Girls can ride. She's already been to one. <gasps> Jagger! How are you? Good. Oh, uh, hi. Yeah. We're here. You're here. Smells nice. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful Smells here. Good. This is so sick. So, Marty from Underground Designs in Adelaide did these sick banners for throttle girls such good quality so shout out to him you gonna see the hey please be on the notice these my motives about my chicken and his rotis you parsimonious you take it all because you were locust my focus is the think Ben's flight is that like it was from 7 30 to 10 30 or something so we gotta pick him up at 10 30 from Adelaide anyone would think we're 12. I was never an ice cream girl until I met Corey. Now I have ice cream all the time. I'm gonna challenge Jizy to stick a slap. Where's Jizy? Who? Jizy! Oh, I don't know. She had to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got her stuff. <laughs> Oi, I've got a challenge for you though. Yeah. You won't put a Girls Can Ride sticker somewhere. Alright, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did it. That was so sneaky. We made it. You made it. <laughs> Better late than never. Day one of Girls Can Ride. Nikita, and you're doing Girls Can Ride today. Are you a big fan? Yes. That's so sick. How do you feel? Step into the light. I'm alive. I can see your love shining. You put it on the inside, so no matter where the darkness, you are shining like lightning. Yeah, with your stands. Yeah. We're doing some of an intro and then we're going to get all the girls on their bikes properly, body position, everything they need to know for the basics. I'm excited to meet everyone. I already signed my first big thing for a girl. <laughs> Day one. I'm so gay, you my praise, that's right. Best high. You have to feel uncle because if you check that ass out, yeah, <laughs> just show everyone your bum. But you'll see me right. You see me riding. I'm gonna be sitting down because that is my comfort thing. Don't worry about going fast in this position. Just get that body position right because yeah. it feels uncomfortable. When I first started learning how to do that, I felt yep. so weird yeah. and I felt like I was like, yeah, was yeah, me. that's how I feel but, and that's why I get so nervous. But it's you just. You have to remember this is the safest body so position for your for you. So this far and back. Yeah. So yeah. my knees have to be like in the mid black. So I'm straight here. Just above that line. That's where your knees want to be. And then out. Yeah. But out. Yeah. And head over the bars. Yep. Chin over the bars. Yep. Um, no, you look good. Changing the levers to go down a little bit so that she can get her elbows nice and high. <laughs> it changed my whole body positioning, hey. Oh, straight away, it's instantly different. Like, yeah. It feels weird, we can adjust it later on today. Yeah, nervous, but yeah. excited, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. I'm so
Do you guys know how to do those? Taylor does. Accidental bum whips. Because as soon as you panic on a motorbike, you make bad decisions. How far you jump, like you don't have to clear every single jump out there. As long as you just have the right body position, that's all that matters. And then you progress over time. The better body position, like it's going to make you feel way more confident on the track as well. And then, and then you'll just far. go. Then you'll just go faster, naturally. <laughs> Get on your foot pegs and just go right to the top, okay? Let's just rephrase that. Taylor didn't drive 22 hours. No, you're right. Is it all you? <laughs> I was a passenger princess. <laughs> you're not recording. <laughs> <laughs> Got that. So we're just doing drills with our back brake and front brake. Those are the big straight. We're teaching the girls how to use their front brake and back brake and confidently, like they're skidding from here to there and they're controlling their bike with their body. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. stays in the middle so if you if you're a rider that uses a back brake and you go like that straight away you're unbalanced so when I'm like this the back of the bike's gonna go this way because the pressure is pushing the bike that way okay so That's why we're doing this, so that we can get used to just squeezing it. Just squeezing it so you can feel the brake come on, you can feel it pull up and just slowly stop. All right, then you start getting the feeling of that front brake and what it's gonna do. Like I said, obviously if you just grab a handful, then it's gonna tuck. That's why we do these drills, so you can just learn to squeeze it. Yes! I'm going straight for the pole. I like lost the pole. I, <laughs> I literally just thought you said I'm going straight to the pub. 
Oh, I mean that we could. <laughs> I mean, if that's, you want to. That's why we're here. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Our salesman just heard pub. That's yeah, all. Yeah, I just, yeah, just all pub. I heard was pub. pub. Palmy and pine. Wait. <laughs> Do you say palmy or palmer? Palmy. Palmy. Oh, far out. Do you say palmy? I say palmy. Everyone says palmer. Do you yes. say palmer? I say palmy. Palm, palm is a Vic thing, isn't it? Oh, it must be. Maybe I spend too much time in Vic. Good chance you're probably going to need to change your oil like straight away because you probably burn it, okay? I just felt like you were there. Just want to thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Come when you, you kind of noticed me getting in my head and yeah. you came up and you noticed. Because you're, you're like, just sitting there and I'm like, girl, get out there. Yeah, because I was like thinking. <laughs> I want oh. you to know that because I'm really grateful. Yeah. So, and I feel so much better now. I'm actually standing up, going up yeah, the tabletop. Yeah, you're looking so good Like, on I can't it. believe I'm actually doing that. Yeah. Like, so I'm stoked with that. So sick. Like, even at so the other events, that. like, you're not the only one. Yeah. There's so many girls out Why there. Why are we that like are. that? Because we yeah. overthink. Hit bike races are about to go down. Yeah, <laughs> she got the thing. How's the head Goggles. I'm a big They're gonna fan. They're going to make me ride so fast. Yeah, wait. That's the merch, wait, too. That's sick. Yeah. I have a feeling she's going to flip it today. Wait, if she does, she'll win $150 voucher to the heatwave. <laughs> I would try and flip it if I was her. <laughs> Gonna win. <laughs> 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 
I've just got some really I great news even. for you. You've just won the $150 wheelie voucher. <laughs> He's like, fuck, I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, the girl. That was a badass wheelie. Oh, that was, yeah. <laughs> Any bike coming? No. <laughs> My goal for the weekend was because I, a little flex, bought a bigger bike. Yeah. Um, so to get used to riding a race bike and not a farm bike. So far, so good because yeah. cleared the uh, step up today. How many times have you ridden that bike? This is the second time. Yeah. 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 Imagine, yeah. So if you can already do that just from a second ride. So excited. <laughs> Look at you. How long have you been riding for? So just got back onto the bike after 12 years and have been riding since like December. Yeah. Ooh, I'm proud of you. Shakira, Shakira. You must get that a lot, eh? I do, yeah. <laughs> what was your goal for this weekend? My goal was to be able to ride a rut. I, I did it and um, I didn't fall off, which yeah. was good. And I also got some air today, which I was super amazed yeah. with. Yeah. Your technique was awesome as well. Oh, thank you. you it. <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you. Very I've learned good. so much. So my goal was standing up, hands down. I've ridden. This is the third time I've ridden my bike. Yeah. I had an 85 before, yeah. two stroke, and um, I just was not getting any better. I'm already like improving so much. Well, I'm yeah. Just yeah. 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 And like just going up the tabletop. Like I've just just got so much more confidence. My goals were for. <laughs> To, well, to have better body positioning. Yeah. Um, I get quite slack when I get tired and yeah. I get 
yeah, my body positioning was pretty gets pretty bad. <laughs> so today I really tried to focus on having better body positioning yeah. and the rut was another one for me because I'm terrified of ruts yeah. as well. And so I feel like I did really good on the ruts today. It's yeah. kind of given me a bit more confidence to yeah. take the inside corners and stuff now yeah. if there's a little rut there. Yeah. yeah. One thing that yeah. I always do I that try. makes me do the inside, every time I go out and like for my practice laps, mm. I always yep. do like all inside yeah, for really. one lap and then all outside for the next lap. And yep. then I just like, it's Find just like a little idea. game in yeah. my head. Yep. And you kind of like make yourself do it, and it's such a good way to learn. You I don't want so you guys good. to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them to go. I don't want can you to go back. Stay? Can you and you can just coach us like all the time. Why don't, <laughs> why, why, I have a better idea. Why don't you come to Queensland? Well, well, I just wanted to go back to basics and work on a foundation so that jumping and stuff was less sketchy. A lot of the stuff I've been shown before, but I've just forgotten and yeah. just not done. Like over time, you just like just stop doing it. And there's lots of little things that I definitely will take in from today. So yeah. it's really good. Well, SA girls <laughs> can ride. <laughs> what was your goal? Yeah, whoa, 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 quick side note, just go take in that hoodie. Oh, oh this <laughs> hoodie, I'm like, what? Look at the checkers. Uh, All right, you can talk can't now. look away. Um, <laughs> my goal was to learn how to ride a bike and get the proper technique. Yeah, riding a bike, and I think I have got that. So you did so well. Yeah. Super Scary. proud of you. It takes so much to come and do what you did, yeah, like when scary. you're learning, and especially on a motocross track too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think the yeah. I think the biggest thing was by myself, but yeah, I did it. I'm here. How good! <laughs> so that's well a, done. Yep, that's that's like goal. the best. Like, there's some girls that have come to the events on their own, like at previous events like locations and they go home and they're literally like i swear i'm a new girl yeah. like i'm a brand new girl just because like you grow so much from that experience yeah. oh, i really wanted to get better at cornering like the firms and that yeah yeah uh do you think you did you do you think you achieved that today not quite no. i had a bit of a stack and yeah the peg went into my knee so yeah <laughs> it kind of threw me off but Tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. And you we'll see how we go you from there. Really well today, hey? You jumped really good today. Thank you. Yeah, no, you I definitely really improved really on the jumps for sure. So I do that's feel a, a lot huge better. Win. Yeah. And like little crashes, like they shouldn't change your whole day. Like it, yeah. they can make you feel like shit and be like, yeah, oh, they like, rattle you a little bit. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if you saw my crash in Canberra. My first ride back after that, I like at Gap Creek, do you remember? And I was like, so hesitant to try anything yeah but once you like get out there after crashing like yeah. if you can like get straight on the bike and just like try and wipe those thoughts from yeah, your mind exactly. it can make such a difference it's probably like most keen to learn positioning and stuff to hit the jumps with a bit more confidence because i've never really faced jumps that big before yeah. I felt like I was hitting them all right. The jumps are huge here. Yeah, they are. So don't, How intimidating to yeah. go up. Yeah, they're so very daunting. the fact that you even did it and, like, attempted them, like, yeah, you should be super proud. How did you go today? She's Pretty stoked. Well. She got a voucher for heat yeah. wave. I didn't really come with a goal. It was just kind of, like, you know, experience stuff get more confidence and just like get more comfortable with my bike. I came on a KLX 150, pretty much midway through the day, Dale comes up and is like, hey, you wanna ride a mot motocross bike? He chucks me on a um, YZ 250. But yeah. I've been only riding for like six months, yeah. so getting on that was absolutely amazing. Yeah, it you was look so, cool. so good on it too. I feel like everything just changed. Yeah, for sure. Are you gonna get a motocross bike now? I'm trying to convince dad too, but yeah. Hey, dad. 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 He's Where is he? <laughs> It's alright, it's on, it's filmed. We'll send him the link. Yeah, to the YouTube video. Make sure the Dad, bell... Dad, I've got a bit of a hint in here from when it's... Make sure your bell's on. Christmas <laughs> yeah. Better positioning I was when I've jumped. That's been a big big crutch for me and a big habit I need to break. And yeah. um, trying to yeah, get a, get away from pulling myself back a lot. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm, I'm part way there. Not quite, but uh, yeah. yeah, that's where I'm, I'm aiming for. One of my goals was to learn how to jump because... Um, a few years ago, I um, almost broke my arm, and then I had like a like really bad fright in, of jumping. This weekend taught me that 
if I just stand in the right position, I can actually jump it and without being scared. Mm. What is your goal? Um, just to get quicker entering and extra exiting corners. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you got that today? Yeah, I think yeah. it was great having tips and that being yeah. given. That's so yeah, you killed it. Thanks. Good body positioning. Uh, my goal was to just try and get around a motocross track. Yeah. Because um, this was my first time and to try and get a little bit of air because I think the biggest jump I've ever gone over is like this big so yeah. the tabletop scared me but yeah I made it around yeah <laughs> I can't great. believe that I actually yeah made it around so yeah it's good so good when I came over to you like you looked really nervous I was so nervous you got overthinking a lot hey yeah I think I need to work on that tomorrow best thing is though you know you can do it now you've it's done it Exactly. My goal was to increase my corner speed. Yeah. Um, I think I'm getting there slowly. Finding that, yeah, really looking through the corner is helping a lot. Yeah. Um, originally, my goal was to get on top of the step up, but I was um, advised by family that maybe I shouldn't shoot so high. And mm. then when I got on top of it, I was like, yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool as well. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. <laughs> Just proving everyone wrong. Yeah. I really. I feel like my main goal this weekend was to improve my jumping and get my confidence back with that and I feel like today getting the right like technique in that jump pad has like just helped tenfold. Yeah. I still feel like I need like a little bit more confidence, a little bit more speed to like yeah. get over some of the jumps but yeah it's definitely coming back which yeah. is nice. So yeah it's yeah. been awesome. So That's good. so cool. My goal was probably to get used to the size and the power of my new bike as well. Yeah. Because yeah, I was just haven't ridden it. Yeah. Um, which was good to do here as well with the proper coaching and encouragement as well. Yeah. It's just a good place for me to relearn everything. So stoked to see you out here again. Yeah, it's good. So good. Everyone, we've come to two events now. <laughs> Victoria <laughs> and South Australia. And you're improving so much. Thank so you. you should be super proud. Is another girl? Well, Riley's also been to Canberra, Vic, and now SA. Yeah. So she's yeah. pretty much I a local. To... Still can't believe really like you're here. <laughs> like, I still have to like pinch myself. <laughs> Aww. That's cute. Did you get that on camera? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just watch you like and follow you like yeah and you just hear it's weird. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm literally not I know but like no yeah different. you're just a person and like but it's yeah. But, but you're not actually a person though are you? I can't <laughs> even explain it it's so like surreal. How did you gain the confidence to put yourself out there online to just not care what anyone thought? When you know who you are then you kind of don't really give a f about what people think about you. Like I I'm feel like I'm exactly where I'm meant to be and if I wasn't where I'm meant to be, I would be second guessing myself. What is your biggest why for personal growth? Not just GCR, so not like what's your why for GCR, but what's your why for personal growth? Like why do you do it? And um, why do you decide to get on a motorbike and get better yourself? I think I've had like a life before motos that I didn't do anything for myself. As soon as I started riding motos, I was like, oh my God, like life can be better kind of thing. So I've been riding since I was five. I stopped when I was like 21 to go to uni. During that time, I was in like a really toxic relationship. I had like eating disorders. Life was just hell. Like I stopped riding because of it all. I didn't know who I was and like I felt like I lost my identity and everything. As soon as I went through like the whole breakup, my eating disorder went, I had zero anxiety. My life just like fell into place. I got my dream job at the time. I got like my dream sponsors, like everything just fell into place. And I think from riding, like it's such a big part of it because it like helped me find who I was again. Once you once you like can accomplish something on the bike and you like you start to believe in yourself yeah. and you're like Fuck yeah I can yeah. do that and then it like transfers to your everyday life and you're like 
like from just from doing little things and as soon as I like started accomplishing everything on the bike I my life I swear like it was law of attraction like everything just start, good started happening like I've never thought I would ever be here but yeah like that's all from believing in myself and that all comes from riding did you ever used to compare yourself to other people and if you did what key moment made you switch the way you think <laughs> <laughs> Dagger. He didn't like that question. <laughs> He's like, pass. <laughs> <laughs> I had moments like growing up comparing myself, like in my childhood when my life was a bit toxic, like definitely. Mm. But I think it comes down to knowing who you are and like owning who you are, like your identity. That's kind of how you, like, I got out of that phase with myself, like when I was in that toxic part of my life yeah like once you kind of know who you are you don't need to compare yourself to anyone like I'm super proud of myself and I hope that everyone here is super proud of themselves and like genuinely feel that once you're confident in yourself and who you are and your why you don't need to compare yourself to anyone what advice would you have for anybody who's out there at the moment watching other people go around seeing them jump bigger and going I should be at that level, I should be doing that, I should be doing that. Just know that easier. you're chapter one, you're on chapter one and they're on chapter 20. So like, of their own you, book. you can't compare yourself. Like you take everything that you've experienced and like your riding, like all the hours that you've put on a bike and all that. And then you compare, if you're going to compare it to someone who hasn't put those hours in, like how can you compare that? So like, my advice is to just never compare your chapter one to someone's chapter 20, because like, yeah, you can't compare it. And like, everyone is learning, like no one's born a pro. Once you like understand that and like are fully confident, like, oh yeah, I'm in chapter one, this is what I'm doing today. I want to go out on the track and I just want to learn how to stand up. And yep. you should be yep. proud of yourself for just standing up today. I know, I'm pretty you know, like there's girls who are like, I want to learn how to clear that jump. Like you, sh yeah. you can't compare them They're because, yeah. 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 That's you. That's you. I just grabbed the paint. Jesus took the reins because God ain't going out of season though. You can join our table. What is that? Night three. <laughs> Why are you so annoying, Ben? <laughs> oh, yeah. The true dad jokes are coming out. Are you ready for a big day? Yeah. Can we actually learn how to do bump whips? Really? Yeah. Not really. A little, a little pad on top around the corner. <coughs> That's the best way to practice it. That means that you sort of actually sort of turn a little yeah. bit and don't get a heap of air. I like your PJs. Show them. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Day two. Our special coach. What's going on? Day two, here we are. Ready to see these girls smash it again for a second day. Um, it's been fun, so it's been good having you guys here in SA. And uh, yeah, we'll have another, another good day. Do you reckon everyone's going, like, technique-wise, they're improving heaps? Yeah, massively. Like, there was a few girls that are a little, um, a little overthinking in the morning, a little stressed, but uh, they got there in the, by the end of yesterday and they were smashing it. It was cool to see. Yeah. You ready for the photo shoot? Did you do oh, your hair? Oh yeah. Is my hair good? Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> photo shoot time. Yahoo! Up close and personal. Boy. Oh, what <laughs> No, it's no fun to eat alone Even if you feel alone You don't gotta be alone Greatness in the making So I never got this stress on me No, you said it yeah. to my enemies Life and patience yeah. wrestling But I know what you said to me They can't try to table me Cause I know that you blame yeah. for me yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can't miss No, you pay for my life You don't switch No, you stay by my side
Damn. That's a wrap. Everyone was bugged as you can see. But we're done. Go pack up. Let's go the fun pack up. part. What an awesome weekend. Um, the girls. <laughs> <laughs> the girls did so bloody awesome. One of the things that um, my few girls came up and said was, it is crazy how different the girls are riding now from the start to now. Like they're all so confident and it's just so fun.